House is set to reconvene at midday to try and choose a speaker again. California Republican Kevin McCarthy has failed so far to do that in the last six times that they voted. Elon Moy joins us right now. She's got the very latest on this. Do you think we'll see any resolution today, Elon? Well, Becky, so far Republicans are still deadlocked over who should be Speaker of the House. Lawmakers will gather again in just about four hours after narrowly voting to adjourn last night to give these negotiations more time. California Republican Kevin McCarthy, who, as you mentioned, fell short of the votes he needs six times over two days, told reporters that another round of voting at that point would not have been productive. I think it's probably best um, let people work through some more. And I, th I think, uh, I don't think voting tonight does any difference, but I think voting is even more. Now, there was some movement last night. McCarthy's leadership pack struck a deal with the conservative Club for Growth to not spend money in open Republican primaries in safe GOP districts. In exchange, the group committed to supporting his bid for speaker. McCarthy also apparently made some key concessions on House rules. Representative Matt Gates, one of his biggest critics, said McCarthy agreed to allow a single member to force a vote to oust him from the job. He also promised to put hardline conservatives on influential committees. But meanwhile, Democrats have tried to steer clear of all of this chaos. They've given no public indication that they're willing to help Republicans at this point. Guys, they say that this is a crisis of Congress that Republicans should own. Becky. Elon, even after all of these latest concessions, which seem pretty extreme, um, even with that, if he can't get the 20 votes, is that then like, OK, game over? This is personal, even though they keep saying it's not personal. This is just they're not going to ever vote for Kevin McCarthy. Yeah, this is the problem, Becky. I mean, I'm not really sure what the path is for McCarthy at this point. I mean, he doesn't need all 20 to vote for him, and it's quite likely that someone like Matt Gates will never vote for him. Um, but he can only lose, at most, four Republican lawmakers. So can he get 16? You know, that remains to be seen. His strategy appears to be to try to sort of leverage different um, divisions within that group of hardline conservatives to see if he can peel off at least a few people. But, you know, a handful is not going to do it. He needs... Uh, more than a dozen in order to secure the speakership. And really, it is just not clear who the alternative might be at this point. And that's why Republicans just seem stuck in this Groundhog Day loop of voting and voting and voting with no resolution.